Welcome to Watch Me Work Holiday Series. My name is Cheryl. I'm a sweets business owner here in Atlanta, Georgia. The name of my company is called Unforgettables, where we specialize in customized sweets, cakes, and treats. I am so excited. I'm not sure how many of you were able to tune in this summer for the Follow My Cake series, but if you missed it, good news. You can view all 12 episodes on my YouTube page. So if you go to YouTube, just search Follow My Cakes. Enjoy. Now, the three week mini video series that we're gonna do for the holiday is gonna be filled with fun and delicious desserts that you can make at home with your family, that you can take to Thanksgiving dinner at grandma's house, or that you can bring to the upcoming Christmas party at the job, okay? So I hope you guys are excited as I am. One of the reasons why I decided to do the holiday series is because I was tired of bringing the same desserts to every holiday function. Every year I would bring the same dessert. So this year I wanted to get fancy and jazz it up. So this week we are going to be making sparkling cranberry white chocolate cake. Sounds delicious, don't it? It is. Okay, this holiday series is going to be so fun. You're going to get to bake with your family and friends and get to make all of these new desserts that you'll get to show off at your upcoming party. Are you guys ready to get started? Come watch me work. All right, let's get started. Now there is one ingredient that we're not going to show the steps. That's only because you have to let it chill overnight. So I already have it prepared, and that is the cranberries. You're gonna take one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and you're gonna place it in a saucepan on the stove. You're gonna let it come to a simmer, and you're gonna wait until all of the sugar is dissolved. Once that is done, you'll take it off the, the eye. You'll let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then you'll place that simple syrup on top of the cranberries, okay? So you're gonna coat it and you're just gonna mix it with the cranberries and then place it in the refrigerator overnight. You're gonna make sure you stir it a couple of times before you go to bed and then in the morning it will be all ready, okay? So we already have our cranberries already soaked and ready to go, all right? So let's start with the cake batter, all right? So we have our flour, our sugar, our baking powder, and that will be all of the dry ingredients we're gonna put in the mixer, all right? So we're gonna take all of our flour and we're gonna put it in the mixer. take sugar. Place that in. And then next, baking powder. Alright, so what you're going to do is take two and a half teaspoons of the baking powder and add in We're gonna mix everything. So, if you don't have a standing mixer and you have a handheld mixer, you can just take your whisk and just whisk it. You don't have to turn on the mixer for this part, but you just wanna mix all the dry ingredients together. Make sure it's all mixed. Get all the way at the bottom. All right, and we are good with that. Now, you're gonna take all of your wet ingredients, which consists of your 
milk, your eggs, your sour cream, and your, we're gonna save that for later, your butter and your vanilla, okay? So you're gonna take all of those ingredients and then we're gonna mix it in with the dry ingredients. So we're gonna turn the mixer on now. And you're just gonna turn it on. So slowly, we are going to add the butter. And then that's gonna be one and a half cups of butter. take our eggs and we're gonna slowly pour them in three eggs make sure that all gets in next we have milk that's gonna be one cup of milk For all that moistness that we'll need, we're gonna add one cup of sour cream. And make sure you get all that sour cream out of there. Also, while you're mixing, make sure you're scraping the sides. So all of that gets in, it's mixed good. Now, we're gonna add vanilla extract. And we're gonna take two tablespoons of vanilla extract and pour in. Tablespoon. All right, so we have our eggs in, we have our butter, we have our vanilla extract, and then we have our milk and sour cream. All right, now, once all of that mixes together, we'll add in the cranberries. Now, there's two different sets of cranberries, so I don't want you to get confused. There's the set that you put in the refrigerator overnight. Uh-oh. And then there's also the set that you're gonna use in to mix with your batter, okay? So don't use the cranberries that you refrigerated overnight in your batter, they're for later. And we're gonna turn it up just a little more. It smells so good. Now, if I didn't mention in the beginning, <laughs> make sure your oven is heated to 350. You're gonna make sure you have three eight inch pans and you're also going to need some pan spray to cover the pan just so that the cake mix does not stick we're going to make sure this gets mixed really good and that is the oven that is ready to go Give it a couple more seconds. All right. All right, so now we are ready to add in the cranberries. So we're just gonna pour the cranberries in the mix. And you don't have to use the mixer. You can just stir them in. Because you don't want to crush all of the cranberries. So you're just gonna stir them in gently. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom. 
You guys don't understand how good this smells. Yeah. All right. So I think we have them all mixed in. Now it is time to put them in the pans. So remember, you need three eight inch pans. And we're gonna take our pans now and spray them. want to take a little pour it in move to the next and then you can come back but we want to make sure each pan is even okay. and spread it out pull a little more here spread it out and then we're back to the first pan. We're going to take the remaining mix and spread it out. Now we are ready to put in the oven. Remember your oven should be at 350 and we're going to bake them for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. All right now it's time for the cranberries. So with the cranberries that you let refrigerate overnight, you're gonna drain the simple syrup from the cranberries. So they're still gonna be wet and shiny. And then you're gonna take a half cup of sugar, get some parchment paper and place it on the pan. All right, you're gonna spread all of the sugar out. Make sure it's all over the pan. And now you're gonna take your cranberries and you're just gonna dump them on the pan just like this okay once all of them are on you're gonna just mix them around and make sure you get them nicely coated now you'll have to do this about two or three times but you want to make sure all of the sugar gets on the cranberries. Now you're, of course you're gonna have a little sugar left on the parchment paper, but just make sure all of the cranberries are covered. And then once you have that done, you wanna spread them out so that they can dry. Now, don't they look beautiful? So we're gonna set these to the side and let them dry for one hour. All right, so now it's time for the icing. You're gonna take 12 ounces of white chocolate chips and then you're gonna take 3 4 cup of whipping cream and you'll put it in the microwave, bring it to a bowl. Once it's finished, you're gonna pour it over the white chocolate chips Right, don't stir yet and then you're gonna cover with saran wrap and you're just gonna let it sit for five to seven minutes so you're gonna make sure the heat stays in there so leave this all nice and tight for five to seven minutes all right so we just mixed the ganache you're gonna mix it for about two to three minutes until it's smooth and fluffy. Now, we're gonna add the butter. Okay, once the butter is added, we're gonna mix until it's nice and fluffy. Now 
we're gonna slowly stir in the powdered sugar and you're gonna mix in eight to nine cups so make sure you have the mixer on low because you don't want the sugar flying all over the place Now you want to beat this until it's fluffy and the right consistency. Now we're going to add the rest of the sugar in and it's going to be nice and fluffy. delicious and gorgeous sparkling cranberry white chocolate cake doesn't it look pretty so now you can show off take this to your Thanksgiving dinner have everyone do a double take when you take it out the box and you can tell them you made it from scratch I hope you guys enjoy and you can add little decorations around it as well. You see I have the little pine cones on there. So you can add whatever decorations you would like to jazz it up even more. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of the holiday series. Please let me know how your cranberry sparkling white chocolate cake turned out. Remember, next week, since it's Thanksgiving, we will not air. So we will see you on November 30th, Thursday, November 30th, Facebook, 730 Eastern Standard Time. Wishing you and your family a happy and safe Thanksgiving. We will see you in two weeks. Stay sweet.